Buenas noches, Los Angeles. It is I, the drunk fool, once again, and we're doing another motherfucking rock and roll interview. It's a pouring, stormy, rainy night here in LA. And I'm here with LA's hardest working band. I'm with Return to Dust. How are we feeling, boys? What's pretty up? good, man. Pretty, good. pretty damn good. Great. Well, feeling pretty great. They just rocked the fucking tits <laughs> off of the Moroccan lounge oh. here in East LA. We're in the Arts District. And like I said, it's pouring rain. The streets are flooding. As long as your exhaust pipe isn't underwater, you might be okay. If you're hydroplaning, don't speed up and don't hit the brakes, because you might be toast. <laughs> Speaking of toast, if you leave that shit in the microwave too long, why you're an idiot, because you why are you putting it in the microwave? <laughs> <laughs> it was a riddle. Right. These, guys are, these, guys, these guys are quite smart. And <laughs> I, I want to start off initially with uh, Graham and Maddie. These are the co-singers of the band here. We got the bassist and, you know, a guitarist here, right here. Killer vocal harmonies. And I really want to touch on something I find fascinating about you guys. I want to talk about Midlothian. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Christ. Pulling yeah, I want to talk about Midlothian. The cement capital of the United States, <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, what's yeah, so, no can you guys way. talk about Midlothian a little bit? Sure, yeah, dude. sure. It's a dark and lonely place. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we, we grew up there. Uh, we lived there until, uh, I, I think I moved away when I was like 19 or, or, or 20 yeah. or something and moved here. Uh, I don't know when you left to go to college. About the same. About yeah. the same time. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's a little suburban town. It's like kind of like... Population like, like, like 30,000? Super, yeah. But something. like... It's like really spread out. Like it's thirty thousand, and it's spread out. It's, it's if you know towns kind of whack. Then People it's call like it suburbia. Methlothian. Oh. It's not. You know what I mean. But like, but that was like kind of the before, and now we're on the now we're on the come up. Uh, so it's not Methlothian. There anymore. was there was one venue in our hometown. <laughs> coffee shop, little, right? Little coffee shop. Yeah. Open mic nights on Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He knows, bro. Yeah. Do you know what we played? Do you know we played the covers that we played all the time? You guys used to do uh you guys used to do a uh No way. A, you know a, no, no, you used to do a Fleetwood Mac cover or something, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean I'm, that's that's pretty nail on the head. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Fleetwood Mac, it was a lot of Hozier, it was a lot of Bon Iver, it was a yeah, lot yeah. of like folk shit. A lot of folk shit. Not not really rock too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I, I wanna ask where your love for rock music came from because as the two sort of singers of the band, you clearly have a dynamic in terms of singing harmonies together and be it acoustic stuff where you're just chilling, singing together. Yeah. You guys know each other since middle school, right? Yeah. So it's like, where, where, where did you guys discover this thing that like, you're more than just my friend. Like you're like someone that I like want to sing about, sing with and I want to write songs with. And it's like, you know, you guys want to fondle each other and maybe explore each other's bodies a little bit, <laughs> right? Well, well, where did this come from? Definitely friends first. Like, yeah. we're, we're friends first, and uh, we both just happened to play music. I started playing we actually, guitar at, like, 16, which is, I feel like, pretty late in most people's, like, yeah, music yeah. lives. Yeah. Um, what? I'm sorry? We weren't immediately friends. It was like we were mutuals. Uh, I'm, I'm right, right? I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. No, it's for real. Yeah, we were, like, mutuals first, and... Um, and then, I don't know, it just, like, you know, I, I played guitar, we both kind of played guitar and we're do, doing these open mic nights and shit, and then we're like, dude, let's jam. And then I think I bought a drum kit, and yeah. then, oh, so bad. Uh, and we are just kind of fucking around, and, um, yeah, and then I think it just kind of turned into this thing where we would write songs together, and, like, um, you know... That's kind of a long story, but you know, that's a really long me, story. Me, yeah, but anyway, <laughs> I'm learning so much about you guys. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you for your service. service. But, um, how do how do y'all not know? This is crazy. I we need to get they like, don't talk we need to, to get higher <laughs> and have more conversations. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So, uh, long story short, you know, we moved here. We, you know, figured we wanted to do this like rock band thing. I learned bass because you know, like every bassist, uh, he had or I had to. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, whoever was the worst guitarist at the time yeah, had to become thanks. the bassist. Thank you. So you must have won this competition. I won that, yeah. I won that competition. Yeah. Um, for rock, my my mom listened to a lot of like Breaking Benjamin and like Three Days Grace and Corn yeah, and like I, shit like that. I can see that you. I had a brother. Yeah, a brother who kind of same vibe. Put you on to some of the harder stuff, and it seems like it's more sort of two thousands, maybe a little more like Corey stuff. Yeah. And it, and and it's cool to know that because you seem to have strayed from that, and you sort of have like found your place seemingly in this like realm of more i don't want to use the term mature baby but just like uh emotionally vulnerable 
state of, of things like I'm sure the endless comparisons to grunge bands and stuff like that, yeah, right? For sure. And I, yeah. I have no interest in making these comparisons, but I can't help but notice that there's a kinship among your songs and when I listen to other songs that clearly they're singing about real shit and they know what's up. Okay. Word. Okay, Word. thank you. Bar's closing. Bar's closing, guys. Last round. <laughs> I want to bring you guys into the fold. So when these fools moved over to Inglewood and they were fucking rocking out, how did you get into the picture? Well, they moved to... They, they were in Inglewood and then they lived there for three years or so. No, no, no. No? no? So one year. Was it one year? It was one year. year. And then you moved to West... We hadn't met either of them when we moved to Inglewood. And uh, we stayed there for one year, and we worked at, at Olive Garden. And it was during it was during the pandemic. It sucked really hard. Um, we were in a one bedroom apartment with our old drummer, and me and Graham, and we were literally sleeping on the floor. Uh, after a year, we decided to move to West Covina, which is just basically we could have thrown a dart at any random place in LA and moved there. It was yeah. so random. We were to aiming move for there. the outskirts somewhere. Yeah, but we, but we got a house. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. more affordable. We had a garage that had a rehearsal space and whatnot. Yeah. So we moved there. Um, Sebastian's our, our next door neighbor. Lo and behold, we oh, find out a year yeah. a, a year you wanna, after. You want to walk? After walk the through. Walk, dude. That's uh, such a pun because I was on go, a walk yeah. a with my circle. mom. I was on a walk with my mom one night, and we just heard these guys jamming a song that we played tonight. It was it was, bad, was news. bad news. That's it was dope. bad news. They were making it, and, and I remember Whoa. we were standing outside their garage. Me and my mom just kind of jammed Like, you're like, out. this shit's sick? Like, yeah, I was, I was going through all the music in my head. I was like, are they playing a cover? Oh, no, that's a song. That's the song. And then uh, I knocked on their garage door, and my mom made a play date with me and them. And she Aww. was like, oh, he's a guitar player. Yeah. You're like, what, like, like I was, 19? I was 16. Yeah. I was 16, 16 at that time. 16, yeah. That's adorable. I just turned it was like two years ago and like yeah. three two months years or something ago. like that. Mm-hmm. Wow, dude. Yeah. And they let you in the bar, dude. Let Fucking me in the bar. You, got, you got an X on your hand or something? I don't have You've never been unable to play a show with us. You guys are lucky. You guys are yeah, mad so lucky. Yeah. I've been on that side of it where it's like they make you wait outside and they're like yeah. giving you shit. Yeah, same same and as a drummer, you're, I'm standing out there with my fucking hardware. Yeah. And it's like, dude, let me in the fucking yeah. venue. How dare I, you? I understand. Yeah. There was, uh, sorry, there was one venue that they weren't going to let me in. They're like, oh, we could run the wire under the door and you can play outside. That would have been dope. Though. I've actually no, been to a show where a dude did that in Long Beach. That's shout, out, shout out Matt Rivas. It was probably a Kaysera. It was like, probably a Kaysera. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Tough, I mean, it was a good show. I like it. It was a good show. Yeah, that's true. And um, you seem to have, Sebastian, you seem to have a more sort of metal sort of leaning here. I know that Metallica is probably your favorite band, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, of course it is. And uh, <laughs> it, it's cool to hear. That's, I asked you earlier when we were talking out at the Not Bar, because he's not at the bar and we were we were like i was uh, like hey are you from texas too and you're like no i'm, I'm not and it's fine because i'm from california i can tell you know but but it's i asked if you're from texas because a you're rocking the pantera shirt and b your tone and the style of your lead playing is so texas it's so really? it's so srv yeah. like and it's so dime like it's pretty cool to like throw in these grungy guys and you kind of got this little like you know, every time that they take a break from singing, you get this last couple beats of a measure, you throw in like a tasty lick. And I think it gives you guys something that maybe, you know, I wouldn't expect necessarily from just hearing the songs. And I go, oh, shit, let's not forget it. You know, this is guitar music. Like, you know, like, let's shred a little bit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I love and, that we and give I, him space to do that. It's, it's honestly, it's, it's really nice to like, A, get space from singing. Because um, honestly, like, I feel like we can get through a whole set because like, I'm not, I'm not singing the whole time. When I'm not singing, he's singing, or sometimes we're singing together. And when we're both not singing, then he's shredding. There's always some kind of like vocal. And when he's not shredding, I'm hitting some sick fucking hitting fill. Some man. Sick <laughs> Perfect segue. You're a drummer, right? Perfect segue into Artem right here. Artem, you yeah. went to school for music, didn't you? Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, you did. <laughs> so did I. I have a degree in drums as well. So which, which school are you from? I'm from U of R School of Music in, in the Empire. I haven't heard of it, but respect. Of Sorry. course, he hasn't heard from <laughs> it. But yeah. I, I know this because. Not because I'm a creep or anything, but because I can just tell your trad grip is super stylish, bro. I didn't do it. I didn't do trad grip. Yeah, you did. I did? Yeah, you yeah. did. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can tell that the finesse at which is you're this playing. A setup? I can tell you got these, uh, these stone killer strokes, you know, in dude, your, in your, dude, in your match grip. Good. And I'm just like, hey, man, like, honestly, your playing is, is, uh, is more evolved than the average drummer you see playing with a Thank rock you. band out here. You know what I mean? Thank and you. that's... I mean, I'll tell you, you can be a great, you can you have great songs where guitar players, great singers, but if you got a shitty drummer, you're toast. Totally. It's simply how it works. There and you, you go. clearly got the goods, man. And when I first sure. saw you guys in, uh, I saw you guys in Inglewood at the Queens of the Stone Age, you know, for a parking lot yeah. party, right? Oh, I was wow. fucking, I was, circle, I was shit-faced. 
and uh, yeah. not Both dissimilar to now. Yeah. And I was like, uh, dude, fucking a. Well, their drummer's clearly a nerd. Like this guy fucking knows his <laughs> shit. I'm a nerd, dude. And then I saw you with your pro drum shirt, your pro drum shop fucking yeah, thing, and I thought, right. you know what? We'll get, we'll These guys know what's up. We know and I what's thought, up. What's your approach to bringing some stylish, you know, technical Thank drums you. to their fucking songs? What's it like? Oh, dude. Well, it's a, it's a push and pull, like, because, you know, you have your own style and the band has its kind of set style. And, you know, I like both. For me, like, I grew up fucking jamming out to heavy ass songs and breakdowns and stuff. And, you know, later on, like you said, in music school, like you're studying jazz and whatnot. And it's like I try to find the best, like, hybrid of that where it's yeah. like, you know, Please both sides of my brain. And I so. think the songs need it. I mean, we have like the down songs, you know, that, that like call for stuff that's like much lighter and like jazzier, yeah. like live like this in any way. And then yeah. we have the heavy stuff. So I feel like, um, I don't know, we all listen to such different shit. It's like you need to have like yeah. a, a big, long, like blend of musicality to be able to fit into all those different Graham, boxes. are you still fucking with like a lot of post-punk stuff right now? Is that still like on your heavy rotation right now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um... <clears throat> Dude, honestly, honestly, yeah, I'm what? on. I am on kind of a different sort of sort of wave. He's been shoegazing. Um, He's been shoegazing. I've been, I've been, I've been, been, been looking at his. I've been. I've been rocking with the Elliot Smith. I've been. Yeah. We're rocking with the Elliot Smith, the Jeff Buckley. Let me um, recommend you a. Uh, there's a really obscure YouTube cover, acoustic okay. cover of Queens of the Stone Age doing Christian Brothers by Elliot Smith. Oh, Whoa. sick. Whoa. That's some good Whoa. shit. That's some really that's good shit. That's a deep cut. I mean, all you've got to say is those words in the same sentence, and you go, yeah, that's going to be some yeah. good shit. Right? <laughs> wow. I okay. Yeah. I need to look at, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be it. some good shit. Yeah, that's good. Uh, how's Magic going? You guys still rocking? <laughs> Dude, it's, Dude um, uh, we, I quit the Magic because it's so good. We hit the we pre-show, hit the pre-show, magic, the pre-show game, magic game, bro. We you know, play. we did right before we left. We're like, how much time we got? We got 30 minutes? That's a Magic game. He knows, bro. He knows. Film this guy. Film this guy. We got... <laughs> we got we got the that's, fucking that's, Ryan. that's our roommate. That's Ryan. that's Ryan the roommate right there with the beard, bro. The beard guy. That's what I call him. It's new, it's fresh, but it's 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 going. He's it's moved. a little fucking crazy. Hey, can... He moved here first um, uh-huh. to California before we did. He met our producer and started working underneath him, and that's how we came out here. So Ryan is the catalyst for that's Return to Dust. Jim, right? Yes. 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 I'm so yeah, glad yeah. we can fucking build through this together. Fuck yeah. yeah. I love, love you. Angus Fuck play magic. Yeah. In Shout out. This is the Midlothian Mark Petchy. And for one person in particular watching this video, you're going to get that reference, and you're going <laughs> and, and to love it. She, goes, she said shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Well, it seems like the, the people at this bar are trying to yeah, kick us out yeah. rapidly. They keep, they're off camera. They keep going. Yeah, there's some people who are not stoked on the, on our drunk foolery. So let's wrap it up. Sebastian, yeah. Artem, Graham, Mighty. Save some, some, some regards. Thanks um, for having us. Listen to Astro Creep 2000 by White Zombie. It's a <laughs> yeah, good album. That's yeah. all I listen to every album by Ween. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. The deep cut. Um, uh, dude, thanks for doing your fucking homework, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, cool. that's so cool. Hey, and where do you stand on Era Vulgaris? Oh, it's a banger. What? What are you saying about it? It's no, I think it's good. We were talking about it in the... One of my least favorite albums. Whoa! Yeah. I, well, I don't even know who that is. Oh, this shit that is, is divisive. Oh, you never heard fucking... I don't know, dude. I don't know deep dive. Turn it on the screen, buddy. And then... It goes a double... Can we play the Queen's Coliseum? He didn't even stay for the whole Queen set. Ooh. You're a dumbass for that, bro. I was tired. That is true. You're whack. Really he was tired. Can you believe that? I don't really know. Dude, I flew, to San, right I flew to San Francisco, saw them in San Fran, and flew back after the show. It's fucking that dope. quick, bro. Not notes. even 24 hours there. I was like, Damn. and they played Turn It On The Screw that night. I mean, I'm jealous Jeez. of this. Oh. That Air Vulgaris is some good shit. Air Vulgaris is some good shit. Was, me, me and my trusted camera woman were talking about Air Vulgaris earlier, and we agreed. Dude, that shit is fucking sick. It's Whoa. noisy, oh, it's kind of weird, <laughs> and it's fucking kind of awesome. Yeah. It's pretty dope. But so it's my least favorite. You're whack as fuck for opinion. that. It's okay, just like diamonds! It's shit! <laughs>